Take your mark. Anne Merklinger was submerged in her participation with swimming for most of her young adult life. I had had hip surgery as a teenager and the doctor had said to me to start swimming, it's going to be excellent therapy for you. So I started swimming. There was really only one stroke that I could do well and that was breaststroke. I have really big feet and it helped me perform well in that sport. I started quite late. I was like 14 when I had hip surgery and I made the national team four years later. So that was quite unusual. Anne received a scholarship for swimming at the University of South Carolina and became a member of Canada's national swim team. Had a wonderful career as a swimmer. I had a full scholarship to the University of South Carolina for swimming. I was able to compete in the World University Games and won a silver medal in the 200 meter breaststroke. I was a breaststroke uh, specialist. Swimming was just a bit of an aberration. Who would have known that I could do one stroke well and if it hadn't been for the hip surgery I probably never would have got involved in swimming in a competitive way. I was the first female Canadian swimmer to shave her head. You know how when you watch like a big swim meet or thing or a big swimming competition, you often see the men shave their head and the theory is that when you shave your head, all of the cells and follicles in your skin have a heightened awareness to water. And I swam great. I got a best time in the 200 breast by a long shot. So, but there weren't very many other women at that time that were prepared to shave their head, but that just shows you how crazy I was and probably still am. Anne also had a career in curling. She participated in it with her family while growing up, then returned to playing after university. Curling was very much a family affair. My father was in the military and we lived in many small military towns across Canada. And in every one of those small towns, they have a curling rink. So we, as a family, took up curling. I remember sitting on a rock and being pushed down the ice when I was just a toddler. We would go to the curling club every Sunday and then I got involved in swimming and eventually had to make a choice between the two sports. After I graduated from university, I came back to Canada and then got back involved in curling. Went to the Scotty Tournament of Hearts, lost the final twice, uh, so so close to representing Canada at the, at the World Championships as a skin. We lost in an extra end, so we were within a whisker of, of uh, going to the World Championship. We also asked Anne if she would change anything about her athletic career if she could go back in time. When I was uh, at the University of South Carolina, it was the spring of 1980, and we were training, getting ready to come back to Canada to compete in the Olympic trials. And it was when Canada announced that we would be boycotting the 1980 Summer Olympic Games and we wouldn't be sending a team. And so because of that, took our foot off the gas pedal a little bit in terms of training and, you know, kind of like, well, what's the point? We're not going to be sending a team anyway, so... What are we working towards or our goal had kind of been taken away from us. I wish I'd been guided to continue to train and prepare for the trial. And I came third and the top two made the team. Those athletes, you know, all got their Olympic rings. And once you're an Olympian, you're always an Olympian. And so I regret that I didn't maintain my training focus and really prepare for the trials. Anne was also interested in sports management and was accepted for an internship after university. When I finished my swimming career, there was an opportunity for female athletes who had represented our country internationally and they were interested in sport management to do an internship. So right after I graduated, I came back to Canada, applied for that internship and was fortunate enough to get it. And that was really my kind of foot in the door to get involved in what has been my professional career ever since in, in sport management. Anne is now the CEO of Own the Podium, where she helps to fund Canadian athletes to go on to compete in the Olympic Games. Well, Own the Podium is a not-for-profit organization that is really Canada's technical agency for high-performance sports. So our job is to help Canada's athletes and coaches win medals at the Olympic and Paralympic Games. I started as the Director of Summer Sport in 2009 and then uh, became the CEO in 2012. I feel very fortunate to have been able to represent Canada on the world stage, very fortunate to have been able to get a full scholarship in the United States. Very fortunate that swimming also opened the door for me to find my profession that I love. I think I have the best job in the world. There's nothing that makes me more proud as a Canadian to be able to see the Canadian flag raised and sing the national anthem when Canada's athletes and coaches are successful at the Olympic and Paralympic Games.